Hello. In this video, I will give you a brief introduction to the simulator uh, that we will be using in this week lab. Uh, so we are working on projectile motion. The link to the simulator is available on the uh, lab manual and also by the lab assignment details. So click on the link and it will open you to a, a very similar page like this one. So this is this access to the simulator. If you have trouble opening the link, uh, try opening, opening it in a different browser. These are HTML files, so you should be able to open it without any trouble. Uh, and in the lab, we will be using the vectors and the lab link. So let's click one of the links. Uh, so in the lab manual, it will provide you direction to open which one. Uh, so let's say in the beginning, we will be using vectors and then we will be using the link to lab. So let's click on one of these. So vectors. So when you open that, it will open to the simulator and there are a um, bunch of features that you can use um, and the directions are given on the lab manual so please follow the directions there uh, anyway so if you want to change the projectile angle you can do it by changing the angle of this cannon right just drag it and this will read the angle and to change the initial speed of the cannon ball then you can change it from here and then to measure the positions, you can use this meter uh, tape. Uh, what you have to do is you have to place it nicely at the launcher center. Then you can drag this and measure the distance or the uh, horizontal distance of the projectile using this uh, stick. Then um, here you can change the uh, diameter of the cannonball and the mass of the cannonball and also if you want to remove the air resistance you can click on that that will take off the air resistance and if you want to uh, apply air resistance then click on that and then using these links you can see the vectors acceleration vector and the velocity vector and also the force vectors and the components if you like everything if you like right so it's depend on our choice so if you want to see everything you have to click on all the options here and then let's try shooting uh, so let's say my preferred angle or the given angle is 60 degrees and the initial speed is 22 meters per second uh, click on this so it will launch the uh, projectile there so this is with the air resistance uh, so I, if i remove the air resistance i can retry it see the projectile is different there um, then to measure the distance, you can drag this to the corner and this will read the distance here. And if you want to measure the height or the maximum height it's go, you can use this uh, uh, indicator as well. So if you clip it here, it will tell you the range, that's the horizontal distance and this reads height and the time of flight. Uh, so if you want to see the maximum height it went, you can use this um, indicator so it will read you the height for you okay and then when you want to switch to the lab option you can go to the click on the link over here or you can refresh the simulator and um, open the lab option now here we have a bunch of new features that you can change the um, the throwing object so we can even throw a pumpkin baseball golf ball uh, cannonball right so car <laughs> you can throw a car here uh, anyway so you had to, you can pick or the customize your uh, projectile object and then you can change the mass of the object from this feature and the diameter and also you can change the gravity so you don't need to be on earth you can go to somewhere else right jupiter oh not jupiter uh so let's say somewhere in moon right so you you can change the gravity and change your location of the experiment and also you can apply air resistance then again you can change the angle by changing the cannon's location and then you can use the uh, tape to measure the projectile range or the horizontal distance uh, also you can measure the uh, height by using the height time and the range using this indicator uh, however in most places in the lab manual we ask you to calculate the time you can calculate uh, using the equations and then we can check the, the uh, check your answers using this simulator uh, option here with the 
indicator. So let's say I'm launching, the, launching this with um, 12 meters per second uh, with a 60 degree launch angle. Oh, that's a big car, right? So anyhow, so when you launch like that way, if you want to measure the distance, you have to drag this to the correct position and measure the range. And again, you can use this indicator to read the values at each location. All right, so I hope this will help you. So without waiting for the class to start, you can watch this video and get an idea about the simulator. Uh, so you, you can spend your uh, class time wisely. Uh, I hope you are attending the lab meetings regularly and get your lab instructor's help uh, and complete the labs within that lab period. Uh, because we are expecting our expectation is not to give you some homework assignment with the lab, right? So you're, you're supposed to finish your lab work within the class frame. If you have trouble finishing in that frame, please let your TA know, and then they will help you to um, manage your time. All right, so thank you, and I'll see you in a, uh, another video.